Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another Wednesday night here on Southern Rounds. My name is Dave Kennedy, and I will be your host tonight through story and song. We have three incredible artists here with us tonight. But first, real quickly before we get to introducing them, just for anybody who might be new to Southern Rounds, Southern Rounds was born out of the idea to take the songwriter round, made famous here, right here in Nashville, Tennessee, out on the road into your homes, not into your homes, actually, into your theaters and bars and honky-tonks <laughs> and everywhere in between. And while the last year has put a little bit of a hiccup in that, um, it has allowed us to come into your homes virtually and share some stories and songs. We're excited to do that here tonight. We're excited for you all to be here with us. And uh, that said, our lineup tonight, we have Mr. Vinny Pellizzi. How are you, my brother? I'm good, man. How are you? Thanks for having us. Man, I couldn't be happier. I'm, I'm really excited to hear you guys play. Harper O'Neill is here with us as well. Yeah, How are you, man? Me. I'm oh, good. We're so grateful to have you here. And Michael Conley, too. How are you, my friend? doing great thank you well i'll tell you guys what i don't think anybody tuned in tonight to listen to me jabber jaw so i'm gonna let Vinny <laughs> start us off with the tune man what are you gonna play for us first brother um uh, i'm gonna play a song that harper and i uh and our friend meg mccree wrote um a couple years back i'm from uh, philadelphia pennsylvania and this is a song kind of uh about the relationship that kind of got me that one step out the door that i needed to kind of get out of there and um, move here to Nashville. So this song's called You Gave Me a Reason. A storm blew through and I thought of you and how we never got it right. All the long hiding days that I gave away after staying out all night. Outside of Main Street bars, I hit it hard Smoking on sidewalks and leaning on cars Take the long way home for half an hour alone I need a cigarette now just thinking about How easy it was to let you down To poison for pain open after the rain There'd be a brighter season Well, I needed a run And you gave me a reason And that whole summer seemed like a hundred bad dreams That wouldn't let go of me I left a piece of my heart there in Fairmount Park in my innocent six feet deep. And later that night I bummed a light. A friend of mine said, man, I think it's time I went inside and I called. I'm sorry and that's all. I need a cigarette now just thinking about how easy it was to let you down to poison for pain open after the rain if that be a brighter season well I needed a run and you gave me a reason and there's a real final line between you running away and I It was just getting worse, the kind of love shouldn't hurt, so I don't know why. After all this time, the storm blew through and I thought of you and how it all got out of hand. I tell all my friends to be careful when letting lovers join the band. <laughs> that last line got me. Thanks, man. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> That's good stuff, man. I uh, appreciate it. Vinny, you and I pretty much, I mean, we. I guess we met about a year ago, right? Yeah. The first time we really hung out, for yeah, sure. Yeah, first time we hung, for sure, yeah. down, in key, down in the Keys. We're going to be doing that again here in a couple of weeks. I'm looking forward to that, man. Vinny. Yeah, I need some island time. About the time we met last year, he sent me, he, he, he was going to play a little showcase himself down there, and he was like, man, would you sit in on it with me? And I was like, ah, sure, why not? You know, down there, you'd almost just kind of looking for something to do <laughs> some Definitely. days just to keep you from getting in trouble. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. 
And I was like, yeah, send me some of your stuff. And he sent it. And I was like, shit, I'm going to have to bring my A game for this one. All right. So, <laughs> you always bring your A game, David. Don't oh, you dare. I don't know about that. I'm just loud. <laughs> Well, thanks for being here, brother. And I can't wait to hear what you got for us next, but we're going to move on over here to Miss Harper O'Neill. How are you doing, ma'am? I'm doing great. Um, I was going to, I was just thinking about that song, writing it with Vinny and Meg. Um, and we were trying to get a song started for quite a while in the room and we like couldn't get anything going. And then finally Vinny's like, I have this thing I started. And he like played the first verse that's still the same exactly as it is now. And we were like, why have you just been sitting on that this whole time? <laughs> like he was just totally holding out on the group. Totally and then was. we wrote it pretty quickly after that. So. That's great. I love that song. Thanks. That's that was a, a great fun song. Day. Yeah, yeah that guy. last line got me just because you said you wrote it with Meg, and that made me laugh for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was not pointed in any way. It just rhymed. <laughs> yeah. Meg and Ben have both been on the show a couple of times. So yeah. Ben, ben Chapman and Meg McCrees, who we're talking about, folks. We but hate yeah. those guys. <laughs> yeah. They're, the they're, they're pretty Just kidding. Pretty we crappy. love them. Yeah. If, well, well, Harper, tell us a little bit about what you're going to play for us now, please. Well, this listening to Vinny made me think of one I wrote recently uh, by myself. Um and it's kind of in that song, Vinny, we wrote a line that's like, after the rain, uh, hope there's a brighter season. Mm -hmm. And I have a song recently I wrote called Take the Rain. Because uh, I feel like in Nashville around this time of year, it just rains constantly. <laughs> um, and so it was kind of just an idea of like the least you could have, the least you could have done is take the rain with you when you go. So um, I just kind of wrote this one by myself recently. Yeah, it's called Take the Rain. I'm going to call it a Southern Rounds exclu exclusive here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> said, you said it was recent. Breaking yeah. news. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> All right. Harper O'Neill, y'all. I would need to remember the words. <laughs> um. I'll take your time. Oh, I got it now. <laughs> oh my god, I lost it again. Oh yeah. No. Oh no. Uh, I, I really I really hope this is the first verse to be awesome. It is, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, you take whatever time you need. I'm dipping this heartache. Cherry wine. I know nothing works quite like sweet time. There's no pill, there's no poison to undo the shit that you've done. So I think I'm just gonna get drunk and cry until the last cloud. Oh, we leave my sky oh won't you please come take the rain cause it's much too much for me today you took the best of me but you left the rest of me with nothing but this pain oh for heaven's sake won't you come back and take the rain Sipping my sorrow till they slip away. I'm drowning in showers, waiting on flowers in May. There's no rhyme, there's no reason for wanting you, and the love's gone. I guess I can't help but hold on to what you didn't say. All I'm asking for now is one sunny day So won't you please come take the rain Cause it's much too much for me today You took the best of me but you left the rest of me With nothing but this pain for heaven's sake, won't you come back and take the rain?
you please come take the rain cause it's much too much much too much for me today you took the best of me but you left the rest of me with nothing but this pain so for heaven's sake won't you come back and take the rain Yeah. Yeah, that was great. Sorry I'm into that. Forgetting the words there for a minute. You no way. All of them after that. I know. I was nervous. No way. I love it. That's great. That Thank was you. wonderful. I gotta ask you. Um, are you? Do you? Have you ever listened to Tift Merritt? No. Okay. T i f t Merritt. T i f t Merritt. Uh, yeah, you need to check her out because that. Okay. It, when you started singing, I was like, oh, she reminds me of Tift. I gotta find out if you. Uh, if you're a fan, I'm a huge Tift Merritt fan. So. Oh, cool! I can't wait to check her out. So uh, that'd awesome. be a little home. That's a little homework for you here. Yes, from, absolutely. I'll from report the, back from, from the old guy. <laughs> <laughs> Does she also forget the start of her songs? <laughs> Probably so. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait. I'm excited. No, she's fantastic. So uh, just anyhow, I just had to ask. But anyhow, uh, we can't wait to hear more about you, Harper, and uh, and some more songs here in a little bit. We're going to move over to Michael Conley. How are you doing tonight, my friend? I'm doing fantastic. Thank man, you. we are so grateful for you being here. And uh, man, would you just tell us about what you're gonna play? And yeah, so uh, I have an EP coming out uh, this summer that I recorded with Kyle Dredden, and this is going to be the first uh, the first track off of it, and the nice. title track of the EP called "Nothing Risked." Uh, I moved here four years ago. Vinny is probably one of the first people I've met. I think we moved here the same week. Yeah. I think it was like right right at the same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Met at an open mic, and uh, yeah. Where was the open mic? Tennessee Brew Works. Oh. All right. It was pretty yeah. wild. So, the, yeah, this is a... <laughs> Sounds that way. Video. Yeah. It was pretty wild. Pretty it wild. was crazy. <laughs> pretty wild. <laughs> $9 IPA wild. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the worst kind. <laughs> the worst kind. Yeah. That's called drinking in the parking lot wild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is uh, Nothing Risked. All right. I know all the roads round here Johnson's Creek floods twice a year We go dancing on Friday nights If Miller's drunk, he'll start a fight Forty hours and forty more Sunday morning, save my soul Forming on a factory line Me fed most of the time, and it might be a full disaster to leave familiar for change, and it might seem I have all I could ask for in life, but nothing risked, nothing gained. Half an acre piece of land I share a fence with my old man Busy guitars on the porch Fireflies and thunderstorms And it might be A full disaster familiar for change and it might seem I have all I could ask for in life but nothing risked and nothing gained and what's beyond the mountains what's beyond those trees things I've never known 
things I've never seen Would I be foolish to throw this all away Or is the fear of the unknown a real reason to stay I've no class in second grade And if I ask she'd take my name Raise a daughter and raise a son Just like my daddy and his daddy done And it might be A full disaster Leave the comfort for change And it might seem I have all I could ask for in life But nothing risked and nothing gained And it might be A full disaster To say goodbye to all I Yeah, man. Hell yeah. That's Michael Conley, y'all, man. We can't wait to hear more from you here in a little bit, too. And I definitely want to find out more about that project when you think it's going to be coming out and then tell us a little bit about that here in just a little bit. But I was going through here um, as we start the next round. And I've got, I get my cheat sheets here with your bios (laughs) and all that kind of stuff to make sure that I'm at least somewhat prepared. And, and, And usually I do look at them about three minutes before we go live. Uh, to make sure that I know, you know, I've done all my homework. And I'm going to call tonight. We got carpet bagger night here tonight. Is there not a, anybody even close from Tennessee here? <laughs> mm, definitely not. Vinny, the pride of Philadelphia, PA, <laughs> at least in his mama's oh, eyes. Oh, Lord. Tell us a little bit about where you're from, man, and how, um, you know, why, what made you decide to come to Nashville and, and how'd you get here and, 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 and all everything in between? Yeah, I appreciate the, uh, um, the, the invite to tell the story. Um, I grew up, you know, like in rock and roll bands and stuff. Um, and I went to school, started kind of writing songs and, uh, basically paid for college playing pretty terrible, uh, cover gigs for four or five hours a night. Um, oh, yeah. And uh, done that. yeah, yeah, man, I, 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 I shouldn't say terrible because it was, it was all really great practice and I, I appreciate it more now, but I kind of started feeling like I needed to move on, um, and get out of there. I was playing about 150 shows a year, sometimes 200. And, uh, yeah, like that song said in the last, uh, that last song, I kind of was in this relationship that was falling apart and all the, all the kind of cards were pointing me to kind of get out of town. So I moved to Nashville I knew zero people I didn't have a job uh I just kind of started driving for Uber and playing shows at, and I going to open mics so I met Michael Conley and I think I had met Gabe Lee a week before that or something and we would just get in the car every night and just go around and you know meet people try to play uh and then I would literally like not drink and I would go drive Uber at night <laughs> um for a couple of years uh yeah, so, and it's, I mean, I was very lucky to fall in with Rob Snyder, who's been on Southern Rounds before, um, and the whole kind of revival crew. Yeah. Uh, it was really great. Rob kind of ushered all of us in together in this this class. So there's, you know, whatever, 20 or 30 of us that have kind of come up together. Oh, yeah. Um, I've, I feel very lucky. I was never one of the cool kids ever in my whole life. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like maybe I found the cool kids. <laughs> there's something there a yeah song or something. yeah oh man you're a late bloomer man i i'm just like i'm just like you dude i was never cool either i get it 
Yeah, it's. It, I think it's an advantage now, but at the time, it stunk. You know, like oh, I hear you, man. In the it moment, it's not. terrible. Oh. You just take all that and bottle it up for a while, and then pour it out into these songs, man. I I get it. Yeah, like nobody I knew liked Jackson Brown. You know, <laughs> it was like God. How old are you? <laughs> um. Oh me, well that's great, man. Well, we're we're glad you made it down here, man. I've always I've en- I've enjoyed getting to know you. I've enjoyed hanging with you. I'm looking forward to it even more and. Tell us about what you're going to play now, brother. I appreciate it, man. Uh, well, speaking of Gabe Lee, uh, me and him wrote this song, and I think it's going to be on his record uh, coming out later this year. Nice. Um, I think. Uh, and it's, it's called Lucky Stars. I hope you like it. I don't want to sit in a circle And you don't want to know my name I don't want to share my feelings And you don't want to feel my pain I would rather lie on the sofa Slide my worries under the bed And clean out the little dirt on the ceiling And run from what's in my head When she said I don't love you Nearly tore my world apart But I count my lucky stars I thank God for this guitar And not everyone survives a broken heart Time to let you in on a secret I ain't gotten over you still In two long years of climbing I ain't even seen the top of the hill And now every other Christmas morning I think about the words she wrote On a napkin at the Holiday Inn Cutting valley right through my soul Saying I gotta go but I don't love you Nearly tore my world apart But I count my lucky stars I thank God for this guitar And not everyone survives a broken heart She said that I don't love you Nearly tore my world apart But I count my lucky stars And thank God for this guitar And not everyone survives a broken heart not everyone survives a broken arm. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. I dig <laughs> that. <laughs> Thank you. Got to stretch out. <laughs> oh man. Well, thanks, brother. I, I I dig the shit out of that, and I'm I I can't wait to hear. I hope Gabe cuts it, and we all get to hear it here before too long, man. Thanks, brother. I hope so too. He already cut it. Okay. Well, there you go. Surprise, surprise. Let me hope he puts it out then. That's just the first stage. I, exactly right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Twenty thousand things could happen between now and then. So true. Oh man, I can't count the number of times I've got my hopes up over stuff like that. It's like, never mind, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay though. That's okay because we'll get, get we'll get the next one right. Mm-hmm. Harper O'Neill comes to us from Texas, correct? Yes. Right so that's outside of Dallas. Uh, that's kind of carpet bag in Texas, Tennessee. I mean, that's, you know, it's 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 kind of a that's kind of a lateral move for you, you know. These yeah. other guys are moving up in the world. But tell us if you wouldn't mind a little bit about where you're from and, and how you got here, please. Yeah. Um, so I'm from Plano Richardson area, um, a little north of Dallas, like 30 minutes. And I kind of just grew up like 
writing songs and stuff in my room and everything. And then I went to UT Austin for school. Um, and then when I was there, I would play on Sixth Street, like the four or five hour cover sets. Oh, yeah. Yeah, living the dream. Um, and it actually was really fun at the time. Um, but then I kind of was like, oh, I don't know if it's super feasible as a career. So I moved back to Dallas and I got um, a nine to five job. And then I was like, well, this isn't really doing it either. So one day I just kind of randomly found some roommates on Nashville Rooms for Rent, the Facebook page. And uh, <laughs> I moved here about three and a half-ish, almost four years ago. That's great. That's yeah. great. And so and when you started out in Nashville, I mean, what was the what was the process? Where was the first couple of places you played? And so I played around at... Tin Roof, a different round, not Revival. Uh -huh. And at the time, Kendall Allard, remember? Yeah, was running, yeah. yeah sound, she was yeah. running sound at Tin Roof. And she was like, I think you would really fit in well with these other guys who do this other round, which was Revival, which Vinny and Rob Snyder run, or ran at the time. Um, and so I kind of just got thrown in over there. And I actually, my first Revival was Chris Canterbury's um, album release for oh, Refinery yeah. Town. Yeah. And I was so new to town, I had no business playing that round. Um, because Chris is just phenomenal, and that record is He's so great. good. And I remember being up there with like my three songs I had from home, being like, I don't know <laughs> about this one. Uh, but it was so much fun. You know, I got to fall in with like a really inspiring group of people, and um, they still push me to write, you know, better and different songs. And um, these two guys right here are part of that whole crew. And yeah, yeah, that's kind of just how I got got started. That's awesome. Yeah, my yeah. first re my first revival back a year or so ago after all the COVID stuff. It was it was interesting because I I went up and and there was this whole new crew of people that all knew each other, knew each other's songs, and were playing with each other. And it was it was inspiring because when revival started years ago, that's how we were. You know, right. and it was just really cool. Um. I sound like like some kind of old man over here talking, but it was just it was super cool to be like, oh, nice. There's a there's a because you'd have to have that, you know. You can't stay in the same place for too long; it gets a little bit stagnant. It was awesome to see you and you guys come and kind of take the reins of that and and move it forward. That's great. I'm I'm such a fan of all of, of what y'all do, and and I appreciate that. Yeah, it was it was great too because every Tuesday night you knew someone would be there. Yeah, totally. You know? Yeah. It was a place to go. It was a place yeah. to go. I, <laughs> yeah. I mean, Vinny before I moved to town, <laughs> yeah, before I moved to town, that was what it was for me. It was, I knew I could go play at Revival. I knew I would have friends there. I knew that there was a place to go. And that's, or that's, you'd hear a good song or something. Yeah, you totally. Know? Yeah. It was, there's some comfort in that. It's, it's, it's fantastic. But, well, tell us a little bit about what you're going to play next, please. Um, so I'm going to play one I wrote with um, Colin Nash. Um, Kind of about, worst. he's the worst. No, he's the best. <laughs> I love Colin. Um, kind of about my parents, and uh, I've never been married, but they're still married. And um, the sometimes I give them a lot of shit for how hard it is. And um, sometimes this song's kind of just about appreciating how hard it is. Um, totally. And they, they do it so well. So, And my mom's probably on this live stream. So, you know. Fantastic. Hi, Mom. Yeah, I don't know. She is. <laughs> All right. This is called These Rings. You plant the flowers, oh honey, I'll watch them bloom. And smile at that labor and love while I'm sweeping up the living room. And ten years down the road, with everything. We'll catch up to the Joneses and spend all the money we're saving. Cause we've had some good years, some bad years, and some in between. But the world keeps on turning and we keep on learning what it means. Where these rings take 
these hearts that are willing to bend. And when they get broken, it's what's said and not spoken that mends. Well, I'll love you in the morning and a little bit more in the evening. And I'll cover you when it rains, and I promise to change with our season. We've had some good years, some bad years, and some in between. But the world keeps on turning, and we keep on learning what it means to wear these rings. Oh, to wear Working on letting go of things To keep on wearing these rings We've had some good years, some bad years, and some in between. But the world keeps on turning, and we keep on learning what it means to wear these rings. I'm working on letting go of things. Keep on wearing these rings. Yeah. yeah. I love that song. Thank That's you. so good. You give me a song in 6-8 and you pretty much got me from the start right there. <laughs> and then you throw in a chorus melody that reminds me of Lucille and I'm, I'm, I'm just oh. all fired up after that. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much. No, that's good stuff. That's a, that's a, that's lovely. And I hope mom's out there listening. And speaking of y'all out there listening, you know, we've got a virtual tip jar here that's going to, to these fantastic artists. So um, if you guys can throw in a little bit for them, we'd love to be able to send them home with a little bit extra cash to make life just a little bit easier on them right now. So you guys make sure you're hitting that. And thank you guys again so much for tuning in here tonight. And we are going to go even further out west now <laughs> to the Pacific Northwest, to Oregon here. That's a hell of a damn journey, my brother. How did it, you get from Oregon to Tennessee, man? It was a harrowing a harrowing experience. Oregon or Oregon? A Oregon. Okay, good. That's the yeah. way I say it. I'm making sure. I, some of these Midwesterners say Oregon. Oregon, get, no. It irritates no, the not... shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a spice. It sounds like a Pokemon. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. My wife and I uh, moved out here four years ago. Um, all her idea, uh, <laughs> all her idea. Um, so I credit her all of my success here. It's yeah, um, yeah. It's it's been it's been a roller coaster. Uh, we moved out here. I got approval to work remote from from my day job and spent you know six Christ. months in a an apartment by myself and not knowing anybody and then I met Vinny and then it was you know about about the same yeah. <laughs> it was like meeting nobody yeah, it was like meeting nobody <laughs> <laughs> I love you brother no it was awesome to because that last song that Michael played was was one of the first ones that I heard and for no one to know you and you came to revival and th that was one of those moments where it like the whole room got quiet Dave knows what I'm talking about and it like it, it sucked the whole crowd down to like just all focused on michael and it was just i remember that moment being like okay we're friends we're totally friends <laughs> this is great yeah he wasn't going to be your friend if you hadn't done that just so <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. oh definitely not if i if i wrote crappy songs he, he would be the first one to tell me 
And he does. He <laughs> goes, do they all have to be six one? six minutes long? They don't all have to be six minutes long. I did long. say that to you one time. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Channing Wilson told me I'd never get on the radio playing everything in 3-4, so I, I get it. I get yeah. it, man. I get it. Well, that's man, man. I'm I, we're we're grateful that you're here. We appreciate you being here tonight. I'd let, would you tell us about what you're going to play next? Uh, yeah. So um, mm-hmm. I write some weird stuff, uh, and uh, I spent I spent um, most of the last two years just watching a lot of Netflix, and and um, one of my one of the one of the shows that I, I watch a lot is like forensic files sure yeah sure. i don't know it's like white noise to me i can i can fall asleep to it i don't know what that means about me but like <laughs> but it's it's weird so um but uh my wife and i were were driving and um goodbye earl came on the radio and i thought what if what if i wrote a song about a cold case detective trying to solve the murder of earl from goodbye earl <laughs> And so this is what I came up with. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's fantastic. So this is called Cold Case. Pale moon rising Just like a gold Bloodhounds are sleeping, the trail's gone cold. And we drug the river, came up dry. Cicadas are screaming by mid July. Did you get what you gave? Visits an empty grave And I don't care what you've done Wouldn't wish that Wouldn't wish that in for anyone Just a missing person No one missed it all no one mourns the loss or that it's gone unsolved I pour through the case files at least a thousand times Knocked on every door within 40 miles Did you get what you gave? Flowers on an empty grave And I don't care what you've done Wouldn't wish that Wouldn't wish that in for anyone Judge and the jury, executioner too. Whose hands are bloody? Who knows the truth? My money's on the ex-wife and her best friend. They got property on 109 and a roadside stand. Did you get what you gave? A violent end in a shallow grave And I don't care what you've done Wouldn't wish that Wouldn't wish that in for that we wish 
that in for anyone Yeah, man. Gosh, your voice. It's good stuff. so good. Thank you. I love that song. I mean, I still don't feel bad for Earl, but yeah. (laughs) Yeah, No doubt. (laughs) Some bitch had to go. (laughs) No, it's good stuff, though, man. You might have to help me out. I've been trying to write a song. Bruce Springsteen's my guy. Yeah. And uh, I've been trying to write a a response to Highway Patrolman from, from Frankie's point of view. Oh, okay. At some point in time, called My Brother's a Cop. I don't know what to do with it beyond that. <laughs> That's as far as I've gotten. You might have to help me out with that That's one. a great title. <laughs> My Brother's, My brother's a, a Cop. cop. <laughs> it's all about a screw up. Uh, no, it's great stuff, man. Um, I don't know what to say other than keep doing what you're doing. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's good stuff. Thank you. Vincenzo. Yes. Is what I call him. At least what I'm calling him right now in this moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, um, so, you know, I, I've been keeping up a little bit with what's going on. You've been out wow. traveling about a little bit, hadn't you? Yeah, I was... Uh, what's been going on there? I was playing I was playing guitar for uh, for Brittany Spencer, who um, is another great artist. Um, She's fantastic. Yeah, so we, we got to play some really cool places. It was kind of out of nowhere. Somebody saw me playing at Whiskey Jam and was like, hey, do you want a gig playing guitar for a couple months? And... Um, yeah, just just kind of finished up the last little bit of those shows. We opened for uh, Isabel for a while and Reba for a minute, which was really yeah. fun. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I'm kind of refocusing. I'm doing uh, starting my record in a month or two. So nice. Um, yeah, man, it was a great experience. I mean, all of us from sitting in the house for the year and a half there, it was really nice to get out and see some places and um, meet some new people and all that kind of stuff. That first time getting out there and doing those big league shows though. I mean, that's, that's a big deal, man. You should be proud of that. And that's, that's a lot of fun and it's a really cool experience. I appreciate it, brother. Yeah. It was, uh, it was all of those things. It was yeah. stressful. It was, it was <laughs> wonderful. Uh, it was, I mean, it, it, it puts you on your, you know, you start practicing a yeah. hell of a lot more, man. Totally. When there's 14,000 people that's going to see you instead of 14. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, yeah. No, it gives you a new perspective for sure, man. It gives you something to shoot for, but it also just it makes you want to step want to want to step up your game. Not necessarily even feel like you have to, but want to. Totally. At least from my perspective, and yeah, totally. And I got to play with some amazing players. The the rhythm section, especially um, two women that play in, in a band called the Side Piece that play around Nashville all the time. But two of the best um, musicians I've I've ever played with. Uh, That's awesome, man. So that again, just every night being able to kind of learn from people was was really amazing that's awesome and you've got a record that came out when was that a year ago yeah it was kind of uh i did it in just singles last year so there's six songs kind of came out over the course of the year but it's a full package on on um spotify called private sky we all check that out i've i have several times i dig the shit out of it man thanks man i'm looking forward to hearing what you do next i appreciate it um I'll play a, a, a new one. That I'm going back in the studio, like I said, in June. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, this one, I was going through songs this week, and uh, this one might be on it. We'll see. Uh, nice. I wrote this with Adam Hood. It's called... Uh, he's all right. <laughs> he's he, he's done one of these, right? He has. We had Adam and Brent and Charlie Starr on. Or Brent Cobb oh, and Charlie Starr man. on about a while back. It was a really, really cool show. That's awesome. We're going to get um, old Hoodie back up here, though. He's one of my... He's a He's a... Just one of my best friends and a, and a great dude. He's a great writer, and I, I yeah, I'm awesome. not as good of a singer slash player or anything as him, but uh, just this, pours out of him, man. He can't help it. It just totally pours out of that guy. Totally. Um, so this one's called "If It Would Only Rain." It's spring on my side of the world. The dogwoods are in bloom. The sunshine never knocks, it barges right into my room It won't let me sleep in, it opens up my eyes But I wouldn't need to worry, I wouldn't have to try If it was raining, I wouldn't feel so bad about complaining I could pull the covers up without the shame and Another lovely day to waste 
They're stuck in this place And if it were storming I wouldn't have to wear this smile anymore And I could stay inside and lock the door And keep the world away If it would only rain It couldn't be a million things or nothing much at all The world turns round in spite of me and reminds me that I'm small I know I can be a dark cloud since you chose to leave It's like you and the weatherman are teaming up on me if it was raining I wouldn't have to wear this smile anymore I could stay inside and lock the door and keep the world away If it would only rain, let the blue stay one more day Come on, be a friend, don't shine me up again If it was raining, I wouldn't feel so bad about complaining I could pull the covers up without the shame and Another lovely day to waste Stuck in this place And if it was storming I wouldn't have to wear this smile anymore and I could stay inside and lock the door And keep the world away If it would only If it would only rain Man, you know I'm as big an Adam Hood fan as there is, but dude, you sang shit out of that. Yeah, Thanks, man. Come on now. I appreciate it. He's yeah, he's he's a he's a heck of a guy. I really like writing with him. Oh yeah, dude. I mean I, I when I found out that I was getting a cut on his record that's coming out, I was floored by that, man. That just that meant as much to me as anything that's ever happened. He's awesome. And we're going to have him back on here before long, for sure, too. Um, so y'all be looking out for that. Uh, thank you to everybody tuning in all over the country right now. I know that we got – let's see who we got here. We got uh, – we got Graham's Got Game tuning in from Dallas, I believe, Harper. I believe that's your aunt. At least oh, that's my what God. She said. <laughs> Graham's what? Got Game. Oh, I think that, that must be my Aunt Debbie. <laughs> well, hi, Hello. Aunt Debbie. Hi. Thank you for being here tonight. <laughs> Grams, I think that's her. She's a grandma now, and I her grandma name is Grams. So I think that that has to be her. There you go. There yeah. you go. Well, we appreciate you turning it. tuning in there, Grams. <laughs> yeah. Hope you'll come back uh, again, uh, just like we hope Harper will come back again at some point in time. Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I threw out earlier um, a lady named Tift Merritt, who mm -hmm. you happen to remind me of a little bit on that first song, especially. But would you tell me a little bit about who? your influences are who who are some of the people that you who kind of like helped listening to their music made you feel like you could do this or inspired you anything like that yeah um i think it's kind of changed a lot since i Supposed moved here to. it can yeah. be fluid that's okay when i started out playing it was it was definitely probably the more usual suspects for girls who want to move to nashville <laughs> you know miranda the chicks you know that that whole group and then when hey, I, don't be don't be ashamed of that. I'm now. not they're, at all. They're bad, they're I'm from badass. Texas, and I claim all of that. Yeah, totally. I claim all of them. Marin okay, and good. Casey too. Absolutely. Nice. Good. Um, and then when I moved here, I was kind of expecting to fall more in love with specifically country music. But um, when I moved here, I started finding like Carol King and like some yeah. of those, that, which I had known before from growing up, but they didn't really mean anything to me. Sure. Um, and then kind of during the pandemic year, I started exploring other other genres like that. So Carol King's been a huge one. And then um, Lucy Silvis, who's an artist. Um, yeah. She's freaking incredible. Uh, I love her sound and kind of that whole genre of Americana music. Yeah, I've been on a real right. Jade Bird kick recently. She's, She's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Kind She's of great the, live too. Yeah, it's like a folk rock situation. Um, Yola is fantastic, and kind of the all the women in that realm have really inspired me to take risks and and make different kinds of music. 
That's awesome. Well, that's fantastic. Well, I, that's I say that mainly because I, I ask that just so that I can write down names that I haven't listened to enough. Oh yeah. Or nobody knows everything, you know. So that's Absolutely. always helpful. Yeah. Well, that's great. Um, what do you got for us coming up now? Um, so I'm gonna play one I think is gonna be on this a uh, new project that I'm gonna go record in in May. Nice. Um, and I wrote this with Melissa Fuller and Andy Skib, and I kind of brought in the beginning as a joke. But then it ended up being kind of fun, so I ended up really loving it. And, uh, yeah, it's called You Don't Love Me. Awesome. You don't love me, baby. You love the way I make you feel. It's evident, the evidence is the emptiness you leave me with when you get your fill. You don't love me, baby. If you don't know by now, oh, you never will. Asked you once, I told you twice, now it looks like I'm gonna die up on this hill. You keep coming around and showing me how This ain't adding up, so let me break it on down You don't love me, baby You just love to say it And I love the way it sounds But you don't love me, baby You don't get to say it There's nothing left You, honey, but I hate the way you be coming around. Smooth talking, midnight knocking, and sunrise walking right out of this house. You ain't holding me, you're holding out. You get to run. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I keep wanting to clap, but I just... I know. Probably I know not. what you mean. That's all right. <laughs> just that. Yeah, little snaps. snaps. Absolutely. I'm into it. That's good stuff. It's Thank good you. stuff, y'all. Um, Michael Conley, now we've, we've, we've briefly sort of glossed over. We're talking about a project that you got going on. Tell us about what that's all about, man, and when we might be able to expect to, to be able to check out some music from you. Yeah, um... So I uh, recorded over the last, uh, it's been two years now, um, with my, uh, my good friend Kyle Dredden, um, recorded uh, six tracks, um, and uh, in the process of doing all the things that I don't know how to do, all the admin work of releasing things that, you know, so it doesn't just go disappear into the nether, um, 
but uh, hoping to have everything, you know, start rolling things out uh, by July and have everything out by August or so. Fantastic. So, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm very, very excited with uh, what we came up with. And, and Kyle is amazing, amazing producer. The vision for the, the, his vision is amazing on this project. So. That's great, man. Well, I can't wait to check it out, man. Um, so y'all make sure you're looking on the lookout for that this summer and people can stay up. People can kind of stay informed with uh through what's like what's the best way websites socials what's the best way to do that make sure uh, we I, don't miss that. I just created my website this this weekend. Nice. Um, um, but uh, best thing probably is social. Um, on Instagram, uh, I sleep in my jeans. There you go. <laughs> you guys can find that if you if you forget I sleep in my jeans. We've got it uh, posted all over Southern <laughs> Rounds right now, so make sure you check that out as well. I sleep. Uh, but tell us about what you're going to play for us next, man. I've slept in request? my jeans many times, too, so I Sorry? get it. I want to hear the, the jeans song. You want to hear point. At some point. Don't let me derail you. I Maybe can play it now one. if you want. This is the Invitations one, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, okay. play that one. Okay. What am I doing? Let me just do your thing. I'll do the sad one first. Okay, do it. The okay. request line up over here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Someone take my mic away. Uh, <laughs> so this song's called um, Left Empty Handed. And it's about a young woman giving back a ring after a failed engagement. There's a box of invitations We will never send now I've put away my grandmother's way And I was getting used to the way the ring fit around my finger. Now an indentation like a hole in my chest. Were they right? Did we move too fast? A light that bright. Could never last. You won't look me in the eye. Can't give me a reason. The flowers I chose were out of season. How'd you break my heart when you didn't? Now I'm left empty-handed I'm ashamed, I'm embarrassed Should have listened to my parents And all the wasted pages Writing your last name Try and reassure me And say it's not that I don't love you How am I ever To look at love the same Were they right? Did we move too fast? Light that bright could never last You won't look me in the eye Can't give me a reason The flowers I chose Were out of season How'd you break my heart When you didn't even know it Now I I'm left empty-handed There's a box of invitations We will never send out 
Nothing but happy songs on a Wednesday night here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, on Southern Rounds. Oh, it's beautiful, man. It's very, it's lovely. You. you got a great grasp of melody. I, I like where you, where you go with that stuff. It's really pretty. Thank you. Ooh. That's good stuff. It's I good. Know, man. As, a, as an engaged person, <laughs> I'm. I'm uh... Vinny's over there Ooh. sweating right now. <laughs> oh, man, that sounds terrible. <laughs> uh, never send out all that stuff. Uh, all that stuff. Get it right, dude. <laughs> Don't screw it up, Vinny. I think I've got it right. It's just a matter of if she, if she sticks around. Oh, my gosh. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, me. Well, man, you said so you're working on a project too, right, Vin? Yeah, man. Uh, we're going in, in in June. I'm really excited. We as in? Uh, Mike Harris and from um, from Old Crow Medicine Show. He played nice. in Brent's band for a minute. Um Still, still does sometimes, uh, and he, him, and Oren Thornton are gonna co-produce. Nice. Um, my next record. I'm, I'm very excited. I, uh, I, it's so overwhelming when you're starting that process. Just totally. Even just down to the picking the songs is that, there's like 40 songs that oh, you have to whittle down that. to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You've got way more than 40 I, songs. Well, yeah, 40. <laughs> you wrote that, that, that you whittled room. that you yeah. whittled it down yeah. to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. I got you though that you've kind of whittled down to or that that you're thinking right. about naming. I get it. Right, and then you're like, is this the one I want to? Sp- I want to like really spend time on. Is this the one I want to spend time on? All that kind of stuff. So, I don't have to tell you, Dave. It takes it takes a long time to figure out what you want to put out as an artist. Totally. I'll say this: put it out. You can just always put out another one. You know. That's true. That is very true. Um, <laughs> put out this one. Get it over with, so you can get to the next one. Is what I say. Definitely. This come from the guy who hadn't put shit out in like five years. So, <laughs> <laughs> so just absolutely listen to what I have to say. Hundred <laughs> percent. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing that, man. Um, I tell you what, guys, let's do let's do this round, and then uh, we'll 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 talk a little bit more in this round. Then we'll do one more after this, where I just kind of get out of the way and let you guys play songs, kind of like a speed round, if you're cool with that. Yeah. Speed Audience, you good great. with that? Great. <laughs> uh, what are you gonna play here, Vinny? Uh, I'm gonna play one more from from the batch of songs last year. Nice. Um, this is one of my favorite songs. Me and my buddy Gabe Lee that we've talked about a little bit wrote this song a long Who's time that? ago. Um, <laughs> uh, and it's still one of my favorite songs. So this one is this one's on Spotify and iTunes. He has a version, and and I have a version. So nice. Uh, let us know which one you like better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this song's called Babylon. I gave up on being loaded Hung my soul out and dry Paid for my last glass of sorrow Hit the road and said goodbye Cause it's a cold and a bitter feeling When you ain't got nothing left to lose And you're picking up your clothes off the pavement Raggy ties, poorly strung, leather shoes And I'm giving up, burning it down I've been wanting too many drinks in this town So if you want to find me If you want to find me I'll be went on Packing up my bags and going Getting out of Babylon Many trials and tribulations Floods and fires have I seen Heard tales of angels turning demons Singing in choirs of broken dreams Guess all my running and all the love I left behind I formed a band I apprehend me Yes, I'm told they'll be here shortly Anytime, yeah I'm giving up, burning it down I've been wanting too many drinks in this town So if you want to find me Well, if you want to find me Packing up my bags and gone Getting out of Babylon Well, I've given up Burn it down 
I've tried and tried, might have made it somehow. But if you wanna find me, oh, if you wanna find me, oh, if you wanna find me, well, if you wanna find me, yeah. Well, hell yeah. yeah. Nice. Y'all, if you want to find him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Where can we find you, Vinny? Where can yeah. the people find you? I'm I'm in this lucky category of people where no one else has my name, you know? <laughs> so I got my name on all the stuff. So it's V I N N I E P A O L I Z Z I. For those who didn't grab a pen the first time, V I N N I E P A O L I Z Z I. Is that why you got your blue check mark so fast? Because no one else <laughs> has that name? Maybe, I don't know. That's right. I wish you would just would have had my name on there. That would have been pretty funny. Oh, man. I wonder how much that cost. If <laughs> Somebody's already got that. But yeah, y'all, and obviously, y'all, if you missed out on how to spell Vinny's last <laughs> name, he's plastered all over the Southern Rounds socials right now as well. So y'all check that out and make sure you give him a follow. And you want to make sure that you keep up with him, what's going on, when he's going to be playing, and then when his projects going to be coming out. Also, We call them projects. It just means we're going to put out music. Uh, project makes it feel a little less scary, I think. Definitely. Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes albums become EPs and EPs become singles, and who even who even knows what's going to happen? But speaking of projects, Miss O'Neill, you said you had something that you were working on, you were brewing right now as well. Yes, um, I'm uh, about to go in with Jake Gear um, and Logan Matheny and do a couple songs. I don't know if it's an EP or an album. <laughs> it's a project. <laughs> right, <laughs> <Yeah>. project. <laughs> and so we're going to do that in May, and I'm hoping to have a song out in, in like August-ish. That's great. Well, yeah. we can't wait to hear about that, too. And, and, how, can, and how can the people find you? Uh, it, at Harper O'Neill Music for Facebook and Instagram. And I'm not on Twitter, so. Well, I am, but there's that, no need. That, that, <laughs> that, that, Twitter, that Twitter's where you go to bitch about stuff. It's not where you go to find cool music. So yeah. You're not missing a whole lot. Exactly. That's what I've heard. <laughs> you're not missing much. We, we sure do appreciate you being here. We appreciate everybody tuning in here tonight so far. And I'm going to turn it over to Harper O'Neill and let her tell us about what she's going to play next. Yeah. Um, so we're on the Gabe Lee train, so I feel like I'll just oh, continue. Yeah. Um, so this is one I wrote with Gabe in 2020 via, like, the Notes app in our phone because, like, we couldn't get together, and Gabe's hard to track down anyway. I think Vinny's, like, the only person he gets in a room with these days. <laughs> anyway, so I wrote half of it, and I sent it back, and then 15 minutes later, Gabe sent back the other half, and I was like, wow, that's done. done. <laughs> we're done here. Um, and I still I love play it out. Plan and... comes together. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's called uh, the end. What are you to quit smoking? Man, you gotta be joking. I could use a long, thin cigarette for the edge There's never been a wilder time No easy living for a worried mind Everybody's got a side of the line We're sticking to Then there's you Magnificent you the only thing getting me through I watch the fire rain down Pop that champagne now If this is the end where well, I'll be fine Cause at least for a moment you
Where do all my minutes go? Like rivers running in a melting snow How do the seasons change For in a day Blink of an eye Never been too good at counting But there ain't a doubt about it All this losing time Losing sleep takes a toll on me Then there's you Magnificent you The only thing getting me through Watch the fire rain down Pop that champagne now If this is the end, well, I'll be fine Cause at least for a moment you Then there's me, little old me, hanging on for dear life to you, trying to figure out how we got here now. If this is Oh, lovely. Thank you. As if I would expect anything less at this point. <laughs> Man, what a fantastic show you guys are putting on right now. I don't even have a whole lot else to say. I think I'm just going <laughs> to turn it over to Michael and let him do his thing, man. Um, we've talked about the project you've got coming out, hopefully here in the next few months. So y'all make sure you're checking that out. Um, and we're going to let him play one more. Then I'm going to get out of the way and let these guys do one more round. We'll call it kind of a speed round type thing and, and, and let y'all take us to the house. Play the fastest song. The fastest you don't have to play. Now, it, the speed round, awesome. just mean, speed round just means just people don't have to listen to my bullshit all night. <laughs> and mine are all slow. That's not going to work. No, you're good, man. <laughs> you do your thing. Uh, so this song is going to be on the project. It's called For the Record. Uh, it's about a jukebox that's in love with a bartender. Personifications, what we call that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Stick from the glass Stack the stools and count the change Not count the seconds till we're alone at last When you finally lock the door, honey Throw your apron behind the bar You slowly sweep the flow, sugar. You put a little skill. This old world, it's a heart. How you tease me, how you leave me. Waiting and wanting for the moment to come. How me yours for the record, baby. Honey, I'm yours for a song We've been doing this dance for what feels like years, honey You still light me up without change Now I feel every groove 
in A22. You send my head spinning when your hips begin to sway. How you tease me, how you leave me, burning and yearning to be in your arms. I'm yours for the record, baby. Honey, I'm yours for a song. Yeah, man. Yeah. Maggie. I love that song. I remember seeing you play that song for the first time, and I was like, who is this man? <laughs> <laughs> that song is so good. Just well, he's, my, he's Michael. I don't play fast songs kindly. <laughs> yeah. That's who That's he true. is. That's true. <laughs> he said he play. won't do it. Yeah. You can't pay him to do it. He will not <laughs> do it. Once again, we appreciate you guys being here. We're gonna let, we're gonna do one more round, ladies and gentlemen. While I've got your attention, though, everybody out there listening here tonight, in two weeks we are going to run a re-round. I'm gonna be in Key West. I was gonna host the show. We were gonna do one live there, but we get down there and Vinny gets to drinking too much, and I gotta <laughs> spend my whole time down there oh, just man. taking care of him, <laughs> oh, okay. keeping him out of trouble. So unfortunately, we won't be able to do anything live. <laughs> We're going to run around. We did a while back. Uh, got a few names you might have heard on there. Well, Casey Tindall is going to be on that one. Ashlyn Craft and Lainey Wilson, Ooh, who has been what a great all round. over the place. They were they did a round for us a few weeks back. So make sure you check that one out. It was a great, good time. Um, so make sure you check that out. And then we'll be back at the start of June. Wait a minute. No, we'll be in the middle of May. May 18th. Is that right? May 18th, we'll be back with another show for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned in to all the social media stuff. If you're watching us here on Fa uh, on uh, YouTube, guys, make sure you hit that, hit that subscribe button and follow us on all the socials. And I'm going to turn it back over to the round here at this point, mainly because I hate seeing my big ass up there on the screen right now. <laughs> Change that screen for me. There you go. That's a lot better. <laughs> And uh, we're going to let them take us home here. But Jane, thank you guys so much for being here and, and, and playing for us tonight. It's been an absolute treat. And thank you to everybody who's tuned in also. And Vinny, start us off here, brother. Thank you, Dave, for having us. And uh, the whole team, I mean, this whole experience has been great. We got to show up and I had a drink in about 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, yeah. See, I, mean, I told y'all, he gets down there. Yeah, if he's I'm like saying. that here, think about what he's like in the Keys. Jeez. Um, and hearing hearing these guys through headphones is a different thing. Like you hear your friends play songs, and and you don't hear all the little like nuances yeah. and stuff. But it's been a really cool night. So thank you, Dave. Thank you, everybody that's tuning in, and thank you to my friends who said yes within like five minutes. Thanks for Both having us. Right. Yeah. I appreciate it. Um, this is one of my favorite new ones. I wrote it with my friend uh, Derek Barr and Chase McDaniel. Uh, I forget what it's called at the moment. But I will remember I it and I will, I will update you at the end of the song. <laughs> I'm not trying to run for office. I don't have some master plan. But I'm working hard to be the best version of what I am. And if I never make a million, I guess that's okay. As long as I wake up tomorrow, proud of what I did today. I used to climb a ladder chasing Mr. Jones 
But I got sick of climbing a long, long time ago So you might say I'm crazy, but I see it another way I just want to wake up tomorrow proud of what I did today As long as I can feel my fingers and open up my eyes I ain't letting worry linger, I'd rather spend my time Laughing at the thunder and fighting through the rain When I wake up tomorrow proud of what I did today I spent half a lifetime on the wrong side of my head Taking every dream I had and thinking it to death Looking over fences was a silly little game What I'm hoping for tomorrow looks like what I did today As long as I can feel my fingers and open up my eyes I ain't letting worry linger, I'd rather spend my time Laughing at the thunder and fighting through the rain Wake up tomorrow proud of what I did today As long as I can feel my fingers and open up my eyes I ain't letting worry linger I'd rather spend my time Laughing at the thunder And fighting through the pain When I wake up tomorrow Proud of what I did today When I wake up tomorrow Proud of what I did today Yo, it's Vinny Pellizzi. Thank you so much for being here, man. We appreciate you. Um, Thanks, bud. Man, always a pleasure, my friend. I appreciate it. Harper O'Neill, I'd love to hear one more from you, ma'am. Thanks so much for having me. I had oh. such a great time. And well, that's great. These guys are fantastic. I'm going to play one I don't normally play, just because why not? Um, I wrote this with Zach Logan. He was talking about how his wife was getting mad he was coming home too late so this is um, from her perspective of course I made it really sad I'm sure it's not I'm sure it's not as sad as it should be but. Well, I don't think you should go downtown cause it's too cold and it's raining out Say it might turn into snow Then how the hell you gonna get back home No, I don't think you should go downtown You'll get lit up and get locked out Wake me up with some big old So stay here, I'll make you a drink We can talk it over by the kitchen sink Let you smoke inside and get drunk for free Well then maybe I'll be what you need Just tell me you love me I don't think you should go downtown Oh, but I ain't trying to slow you down That same old bar has been the same for years And it ain't who's there, it's who ain't here So stay here, I'll make you we can 
talk it over by the kitchen sink Let you smoke inside and get drunk for free And then maybe I'll be what you need Or just tell me you love me So stay here, I'll make you a drink We can talk it over by the kitchen sink I'll let you smoke inside and get drunk for free And then maybe I'll be what you need Just tell me you love me That's Harper O'Neill, y'all. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. I, you said you had to make it sad. <laughs> I got up a, uh, we're going to have to write a song, you and me, called She Made It Sad. Okay, deal. deal. Or she Made It Sadder, one or the other. But put She my Made name, It Sadder. That's awesome. <laughs> put, put my name next to that one, all right? Deal. <laughs> Thank you Thanks so for much for me. being here. Michael Conley, would you take us home, man? Absolutely. Thank you so much for uh, for having us. Uh, Vinny, thank you so much for the invite. This has been fantastic. Um, I'm going to end with a song from the perspective of a madam at a house of negotiable affection. <laughs> Heard that. <laughs> it's called uh, Where the Wolves Go. Way too it's many not big called words. from a negotiable affection. <laughs> <laughs> it probably doesn't sing that good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Conley just singing my whole life story tonight. <laughs> Leave a crack in the window Let the room get some air Get fold your shirt and pants Neatly across the chair Five for the hour, or forty for the night. Don't worry, we got what you like. A thousand miles from nowhere, I stray off the trail. Three sheets of the wind, one foot beyond the veil. Come to me broken I put them to work Go on girls Show them what you're worth Do you ever wonder Where the wind blows The spring makes way
promise we'll be discreet You settle up with a bartender After you settle up with me The ring in your pocket A twisted band of tarnished gold Best get home now Bet your supper's getting cold Do you ever wonder That's Michael Conley, y'all, man. That's beautiful. Thank you. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you to everybody for tuning in. Everybody behind the scenes, Greg at the studio and Preethan behind the scenes, Nina, Richard, Wyatt, all the folks that bubble up also. Everybody who helps put this show on, we appreciate you guys. Once again, in two weeks, we will not be live, but we'll do a re-round with Lainey Wilson and Ashlyn Craft and Casey Tindall. Y'all want to make sure that you don't miss that one. And then we'll be back uh, here live on the 18th of May um, for Vinny Palizzi, for Harper O'Neill, for Michael Conley. I'm Dave Kennedy. Thank you guys so much for being with us tonight, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.